what is good everybody uh, today we are going to be talking about how to download custom brushes right inside of clip studio paint so for more digital art tricks tips um, consider subscribing to my channel because um, I post videos every single Friday about digital art and if this is your first time coming to the channel welcome right first of all and I am digital artist Brian Hampshire I've been drawing digitally for about six years now <coughs> yeah so I've been drawing digitally for about six years now so um, during that time I've been um, I've done several um, well I tested several drawing programs or whatever and you know one of the reasons why I like clip studio paint so much is that I don't have to search over the web for different brushes um, they're all right here inside of clip studio paint for free so let's get right into it all right so first of all once you open up let me go back when you first open up clip studio paint this is the screen that you see right here and this is the just the news feed has a whole bunch of information or whatever um, you want to go to the left corner and go to clip studio assets now click on that wait till it loads up once it loads up you click on the search bar and let's say we want to we want to look at hair right we want to download a hair brush click hair right there hit enter and these are all these are all of the choices right here and like I say most the majority of them are free so we'll click on this one right here so down here it has the description sometimes they even give you like kind of like simple directions on how to use the brush right here they got animations on how they use the brush All right so anyway let's click on down oh, okay I gotta sign in hold on Okay. Let me sign in, click download. Now it has been downloaded. Now once it's downloaded, we go back to the paint software. And then we go over here to this corner over here. And it should look like a file. We click on that. Now I know that everybody has their own setup in a different type of way. So if your your setup is not exactly like this, you just want to click Windows, go all the way down to Materials, and then click on All Materials. And that should, that should bring it up. Okay. Now let me expand this so I can actually see. So this right here is all of the materials that I've downloaded. All of them. All right. So you just simply Oh, let me find let me find the one that we downloaded. There we go. Just simply click on it, 
fold it and drag it. Bam. It's that simple. Click on it. Let's see how it looks. Let's get another page up here. Let's find that. Oh my God. Let's take that down. There were some poses that I was working on. But let's click on that. Where's my. Then we have this one. I forgot about this one. It came with two brushes. So we just click over there, drag. That's the front one. All right. Now, now that we got that down the way, sometimes Sometimes I found out that um, you'll download a brush or you'll download what you think is a brush and you go over to, you go over and drag it to the sub tool uh, brush bar and it has an X on it like this. See, it's not letting me put it over there. So sometimes you'll you'll have a brush like that. And so what the problem is, it's not actually a whole brush. It is a brush tip. Right? Yeah. So it, it is it is a brush tip. So to Yeah, so to um actually download it and, and make it into a brush what you actually have to do is go over here to the sub tool sub tool brush file All right looks like i already did it but um i'll do it again so we'll just we'll just click on uh we'll just click on a random brush we'll say all paint so what we'll do, we'll right click on it and we'll go to duplicate the sub tool. So we'll duplicate it. Okay. Then we'll click and hold on it and we want to put it right there. So this is it right here. And then we want to go down to the to this wrench yeah we want to hold on let me move this let me move me let me move this real quick because y'all can't see All right, so you go down here to the wrench, you click on that. Now, once you click on the wrench, you go down to brush shape, see brush shape? And then you go down to brush tool, and then you click material. And then you click this little paper, this little play paper uh, plus button. It says add, um, add brush tip shape. And so we want to click on that. And then these are all the brush tips that we can um, we can put put on there. And so to cipher through that, just go over here to downloaded materials. Bam. And then we got our cloud. 
that we was trying to make, but so we just click on that, hit OK. And then there he is right there. And then you just simply exit out of there. And now we got our cloud. You can change the color. Let's change the color. That's not a cloud color. So now you can just change the color. And understand it's just a, a tip. It's kind of like, think about it as a um, stamp. It's, it's kind of like a stamp. And you just simply do that. And so that's how you do that. So remember, you want to, if it's not, if it's not, um, if you download the brush, you drag it over, it's not taking it. Remember, it's usually a um, brush tip shape. So you just simply want to find a brush that you want to make, make the tip out of. You want to duplicate it. Then once you duplicate it, move it over to um, its own section. Um, and then click the wrench tool. Click the wrench tool. Go all the way down to the menu brush tip. The material um, section should be highlighted. Um, and then you click add brush tip shape. Go to download the material or wherever your um, brush tip is. Download it at. You click on that and just simply hit OK. And that's how you do that. Um, so anyway, if you are new to digital art, um, I have a free guide. And, you know, I've been thinking, I've been thinking about making a video, doing a video version of it. Um, y'all let me know in the comments um, if y'all want me to do a video version. It's I, So I did a checklist um, for new digital artists. Um, so, you know, it can, it can save you time, money, or, or whatever. But I was thinking that I could do a video version of it and just really get really get in depth on um, on a lot of topics and I can show off uh, some more things. I, I think I'm gonna do that. So let me know in the comments um, if you want me to do that. Um, but anyway, I hope you guys um, got some type of value out of this video today. Um, and as always, I'll holler at you guys next time.